Greetings, family, greetings. Come on in, come on in, come on in. I hope each and every one of you, I hope you're doing well this evening. Come on in quickly. I'm going to give you a minute to jump on this live because we're going to be speaking about something powerful. Decoding the drive. Why do we manifest? That's one of the most important questions. The why is the most important question. Even before you get to the what, the why is the most important question. So jump on because we're going to be speaking about why do we manifest. And this is going to help each and every one of us to decode our drives. What drives us to manifest? And this is going to open up so many different things. It's going to reveal so many different things to you. And I hope you enjoy this session. So just share it quickly. Let everybody know that the doctor is on and we're about to get started. Well, let's just jump into it this evening. I want you to turn to Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2. It says, It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings to search out a matter. That is so uh, powerful. So let's just get started now. We're going to look at why do we manifest? Understanding why in manifestation is so important. Understanding the why in manifestation is so important. And this fundamental question helps us to explore why do we manifest, but it also helps us to emphasize the understanding of why and how crucial it is in helping us to decode our inner drives. So why is a question that speaks about what is our drive to manifest? What motivates us to manifest? You may ask another reason, why is this question so important? There are many people who are very interested in the concept of manifestation. Matter of fact, you would also see there's a high number of uh, people, there are high numbers of uh, people in the area of the New Age uh, sector where they're highly interested in manifestation. And believers are a bit skeptical when it comes to the concept of manifestation. This is going to make things easy because the why do I manifest, why do we manifest, teaches us to decode our inner drives, our inner drive. Kingdom people, when they focus on manifestation, the inner drive or what motivates a kingdom-minded person is more to reveal spiritual desires that are concealed. That should be for kingdom people who are interested in manifesting uh, desires. The inner drive should be about the spiritual desire. Because when we begin to search and decode our drive, we begin to find out that there are two things that motivates a person to manifest. And this is what makes kingdom methods for manifestation different from the New Age concept of manifestation. A person in a new age concept is always driven or motivated by their own self-interest. And a kingdom person is always motivated by the spiritual desire. So the spiritual desire is the thing that motivates and drives a kingdom-minded person to manifest. But it's important to understand 
that the majority of people they can sense their spiritual their sorry their self interest or their self desire but what is concealed is actually the spiritual desire and this is what solomon says this is what is concealed the spiritual desire is actually concealed and so that and so we must understand that whatever is concealed is measured by a demand think about a diamond think about something that is concealed the bible says the kingdom of heaven is like a woman looking for a lost coin the coin in spirituality is not lost it is concealed and so concealment is measured by demand whenever something is concealed it has a great demand and so i want you to think about the spiritual desire that is concealed from many of you this evening you don't feel it you don't sense it you only can sense your self desire your self interest and that self desire or that self interest excludes god from purposefully aiming his best towards each and every one of us so when you think about decoding your drive and you start making up in your mind that i want to reveal the concealed desires i want to manifest the concealed desires i want to manifest that when you make up in your mind that this is going to be the thing that drives you then you're going to be able to understand what it means uh to manifest according to the kingdom and so that's the first concept here understanding why we manifest because the why speaks about what motivates you and it helps you to decode your inner drive so that you do not exclude god from the best that he has for you and then many people sometimes exclude god by having a motive to manifest or have a they have a drive to manifest for their own self interest this is playing too small there are bigger things that god wants to give us there are bigger things that he promised you but you have to be motivated and driven by a spiritual desire which is concealed and your job as kings is to seek it out to search it out and reveal it the next point i would like to make is that the reason why we manifest is that something is concealed let's look at the word manifestation for a minute manifestation means to appear to show or to cleverly reveal the reason why we manifest is that there are things that have been intentionally concealed from us proverbs 25 shows us that god conceals things matter of fact it's not lost in spirituality nothing is lost i know you've heard about the lost sheep the lost coin but in spirituality lost doesn't mean lost in a corporeal word or terms it means concealed and so the job why of why, of why we manifest is to understand that something is concealed and the kings must search it out and reveal it that's what manifestation is and so there are many things that are actually concealed and it must be revealed most of you you are running after things that are obvious in your life obvious teaching things that are obvious things that you already know and because it appeals to your self interest you get you become a prisoner to what you already know but you must go after 
the things that are concealed because they have a greater demand. Not the things that everyone is speaking about, talking about, but it, it, the, it, re, it is the things that are concealed that we must go after. So we manifest. Why do we manifest? Because things are concealed and manifestation means to make it appear, to make it show. The clever art of revealing. The New Age um, group, they have a misconception about manifestation because they believe that they are manifesting something, not understanding that everything that you need is already in you, already around you, everything. Everything that we need is here. So it's not like you are making something come from the spiritual world here. That's the misconception of manifestation because most people, especially the new age people, teach as if they are making something from there come here. Nothing from the spiritual world needs to come to this world because it is written on earth as it is in heaven. In other words, everything that you need for your mission statement, for your purpose, for your health, for your marriage, everything that you need is either in you or it's around you. Manifestation is the clever art of revealing what and becoming aware and having the correct perception, the ability to perceive what is already in your presence. And so perception, when we begin to understand the misconception about manifestation, it's not your works, it's not you bringing something from the spiritual world here, but it's already here and it speaks about the art, the clever art of revealing what is, a, is already here. That's what manifestation is. And you're gonna have to learn that your job is to reveal, make it show, make it appear. How do I do that? Perception. Many of us, we are not able to perceive correctly and whatever we're not able to perceive stays concealed. And so I hope now you understand that that the misconception about manifestation is not about you making something come here. It's already here on earth as it is in heaven. And now the job here is to cleverly reveal it, make it appear, make it show. What is the purpose of manifestation? The purpose of manifestation is to reinforce the idea that we manifest to reveal what is hidden. Write it down, please. That's the purpose of manifestation, to reinforce, and this is what I'm um, doing this evening. I'm reinforcing the purpose of manifestation so that we are not driven or led uh, into strange doctrines and errors. Reinforcing the idea that we manifest to reveal what is hidden. What is hidden in your life? There are many things in your house, many things in your yard, many things in your presence, many things that you can use to help you to evolve, but it's hidden from you. It is concealed. And God does this intentionally. This is why Matthew 6.33 says, Seek first the kingdom because the kingdom is not lost. I know you've been taught that the kingdom was lost, but the kingdom could never be lost because God designed it for man to take it from heaven to earth. Matter of fact, the kingdom can become concealed, but the kingdom is, on, is concealed from many of us. Let me give you an example. Jesus spoke about it in the parable. He says, the kingdom of heaven 
is like a merchant looking for a pearl. Searching. Searching means that the pearl is hidden. It's not lost. It is actually concealed. And you've better begin to understand that the reason why Jesus spoke about the message of the kingdom of heaven so much, it is because it, is, it was on demand. It's, it's on demand. It's the greatest demand for the world. But this demand is concealed. That's what gives it and makes it a demand. Anything that you can easily get, anything that you can easily find, doesn't have a great demand on it. You have a great demand when you are concealed. Everybody wants to know where you are. And this is why I always speak about two powerful forces, presence and absence. If you are always present, people become familiar with you. Sometimes you must become absent, you must conceal yourself a bit, and it creates a sensation and a desire in a person to come after you. And so you have to know when to be present, and you have to know when to be absent. And this is so important uh, when you begin to understand the concept of manifestation. Now, I want to speak about what happens when, you, when something is concealed and you reveal it. It's a miracle. Do you know that there are revealed miracles and concealed miracles? And right now, wherever you're listening, listening to me from, there are so many things concealed from you. So there are things that are concealed which are miracles. You know, there are revealed miracles and concealed miracles. Let me give you an example. Revealed miracles are actually when the Red Sea was opened up for the Egyptians, for the Jewish people, sorry, uh, when manna was given to them from heaven, um, when their lights were on and everyone else's lights were off, these were tangible, revealed miracle, mir miracles. And most people, they want to play it safe. They want revealed miracles. They, they want to see legs growing out. Nothing wrong with that. But we have entered into a season where there are now concealed miracles and many people have asked me questions why don't we see miracles in 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 auditoriums and we don't see miracles like we used to do and my response was it is because we've entered into a season where god wants us to come after him and what he does is he creates concealed miracles he will give you revealed miracles at the beginning and then he will conceal miracles. And so let's look at a concealed miracle. Moses. Moses saw the burning bush and the bush was not consumed. This was a miracle because a miracle means anything that def defies the laws of nature. The bush was burning, but it was not consumed. This was a concealed miracle. I want to say to you in closing that you have been called your why to manifesting a husband, your why to manifesting a wife, your why to manifesting the abundance that you need to fund your purpose in the earth, manifesting health, manifesting happiness. Your why to all of this is because all of these things have been concealed from you. And you are a king who've been called to seek and search it out, manifest it, make it appear, draw it, make a withdrawal, reveal it cleverly. That is your job. And in order to do this, you must begin to change your perception. So the same way there, are, there was a concealed miracle with Moses, where this concealed miracle was defying nature, there are many concealed miracles that is hiding in plain sight that will defy what people said you cannot do. 
that will defy your family members appro um, approach concerning to you concerning you that will defy what people think about you that will defy nature it will defy every and anything but your job is to make it appear to reveal it to cleverly reveal it change your perception today you've been listening to this teaching on today on today this evening why do we manifest decoding your drives looking for what is concealed because whatever is concealed is your miracle have a bless bless evening see you guys soon